it places you at the scene. So just call Nigel later and sort it out. Okay. Welcome to episode number 11 of the Marty and Pop Michael podcast. Fully actual. And uh, you can see we're wearing these shirts because <coughs> <coughs> it's Marty and Michael and, and we're, we're making memories. <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to our fucking website, universityofmarco.com. It's how we get this shit funded. Okay? So just, it, it's, it supports us. And also, it's so much free content. We showed some, well, not free content. There's so much unseen $5 content. $5 is pretty free. $5 US. So like $7 Australian. We showed Matt some of the website videos and I've never, ever seen him. He had tears running down his face. We did the torture video. We probably spoke about this last week. It's not. And we also did a game called Ass. Yeah, we, so we do very um, violent videos of the stuff we like to do and put it on the website because we can't put it on Facebook anymore. And um, yeah, it's it's a good time. It's a fucking good time. Every week we're putting a video out there, like a f- 10 to 15 minute video you can't see anywhere else. So, mm. And like Facebook's normally three minutes. Plus- That's five times. Plus you can watch, you can s- sign up for 14 days for free. So after 10 days, if you've watched everything and you don't like it, you can just sign out and you haven't lost $7. Can they keep fucking doing that? Hopefully. I hope that they can do that. Oh my God, that sucks for us. No, I hope that they can do that. Good. That's what I would do. Just continually do that. Everyone do that. That's smart. Fuck, you don't found do a loophole. that. Damn it. No, it's $7 Australian and 5 US, no, which look- is a cup of coffee. Help us out because Facebook doesn't let us do what we want to do. Uh, anyway, week... 15 of isolation everyone's becoming inbred now i see sass posts on facebook families starting to become in relationships with other family members there's there's it's good actually there's, it's there's, good what's happening there's mothers fucking sons and it's complicated changing their relationship statuses inbred is rife because of isolation so COVID. get out there and just what fuck a Fuck a mum, fuck a dad. Fuck a sister, fuck an uncle, fuck an oar. An oar. <laughs> <laughs> if you've got a boat. Row boat. Um, yeah, it's crazy. And fucking what's happening on this day so and so years ago? <sighs> well, all right. So, And Max- we're making memories. Marty and Michael, we're here all day. <gasps> <laughs> That's our jingle for the day. Shit. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, as you know, uh, the on this day facts, not speculation, not opinion, not just, uh, you know, a rumor. Facts. These are facts that Matthew Brown from Wholesome Gregory Brown. finds. He finds them and he's, he's fine-tuned his research skills at Wholesome. That's what they hire him for to research concrete. And my God, he's flying up the ranks because his re- research skills are so intricate they're so intellectual and they're just so complicated he arrived at what was it 4 30 a.m this morning and started researching to find four facts that no one in the world knows was that you in my room that was matt you thought it was me i heard you screaming my name but it was matt and matt was in there researching and this is what he found on this day in 1981 dr phil was seen pissing in a pram with his head cocked back laughing hysterically He he fled the scene when the mother of the baby in the pram returned after ducking into a convenience store. So, there you go. He wasn't... He hasn't been this fucking... Oh, wow. ...person to look up to. I'm sure he is now, but everyone makes mistakes in their earlier years. How old would he have been then, Matt? 30? 21. He was 21 then. So, there you go. When Dr. Phil was 21, he was pissing in prams. Was... And there was an actual baby in it. Yep. Yep. That's insane. What convenience store? 7 Eleven? They didn't have them back then. Mini Mart. No, it was like a New York, yeah, Mini Mart. It was like privately owned. Fuck. There you go. That's hot. <clears throat> in 19- on this day, in 1996, a young Taylor Swift built a lair underground and would surface occasionally and snatch Asians. She feasted on their bodily fluids and used their dried out corpses as decorative pieces in the lair. <laughs> oh man, she sounds a bit twisted. Wow, yeah, that is very, like I didn't realize that she had sort of like a a race thing. Yeah, snatching Asians. I guess and sort she of, did well. Like I guess you can come back from anything that shows. That's inspirational, if anything else. I didn't. She see- was loaded before she became famous, though. So 
That's probably why she had a lair. I, I watched her documentary and I didn't realize that she was like into building lairs and stuff. They left that out, but it's a fact. Matthew Brown, wholesome. Gregory. Headquarters at Milton. On this day in 1942, Hitler's erection was so firm and engorged with blood that he often used it to bludgeon disobedient soldiers and then spray them with his sick, sticky sack milk to humiliate them in front of soldiers' families. Sick sticky sack milk. <laughs> That's fucking great. Oh, there you go. He's, so he's obviously <laughs> the genocide is obviously. I feel like it's like a sexual thing. The genocide is oh it clearly was getting him off in 1942. Wow. Oh, it's confronting, but I can see it. You know, there was a lot of bad shit that happened back then, and I can see him beating soldiers with his incredibly hard erection. <laughs> On this day in 1985, Nicole Kidman swallowed her firstborn baby whole following a short battle with postnatal depression. She, <gasps> la- she later admitted she was hoping the baby would grow up a bit inside her and reemerge as a more independent teenager or some shit. <laughs> Fuck. Me, well, there you go. Post-natal- Is that the one she had with Tom Cruise? I don't know. It doesn't say, well, but... You- she didn't have a kid with Tom Cruise, so that's probably it. 1985. She was quite young back then, I think. Was like, she like six or some shit? She's only like 15 years older than us. Yeah. Well, there you go. She's a bit... That's a bit fucked, isn't it? And like to swallow a baby whole, like you'd have to... The logistics, you'd have to dislocate your jaw and, and sort of, you know, it's a lot of stress on the It's illegal, throat. I swear. Yeah. Well, yeah. It's, it's crazy that Matt found that out because I'm sure if she admitted that, that she would be thrown in jail. How do you get this shit? If you watch BMX Bandits, old Australian movie with Nicole Kidman, you'll That's find it. that all of it is referenced in there. Wow. There you go. Matt Brown from Wholesome. Gregory. Matt Gregory Brown. <laughs> all right. That brings us to our next segment, which Matt has um, renamed. Wow. A rare renaming of a segment, Matt. Wasn't expecting that. <laughs> it's been renamed to... <laughs> Make a stand! Make a stand and push them down! <laughs> and it's a segment where we just answer questions that you guys have sent in via Instagram. <laughs> oh, that was hot, dude. That was fucking hot. All right. <clears throat> Is the first question. Aaron Hargis photo has sent us a gaping asshole. So some dude wearing jeans with a rip in his jeans and he's... Stretching his cheeks apart as far, Ooh. exposing an incredibly gaped asshole. And he's got his question underneath. Podcast question. Would you rather a three-minute conversation with your future self or past self? Future self. Then I'll know yeah. not what to do. Yeah. Past but, self, I'd be like- No, but- I'd yeah. want to, I don't know. But but also, you could, you could imagine if having a conversation with 20-year-old Marty and Michael, we could be like, boys, start this now. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we could be but like- But to better our timeline, we'd want to, f- like, in our way, go to the future so we can help ourselves. It feels like Fuck it would be- ourselves. It would be, yeah, I, I'm, so, I'm pretty happy that we didn't become super successful really early on because it fucks your skull, cunt. It fucking fucks shit up. It just, you, you get all fucked up. And everything just, it's not normal. You need to live a normal life first with a mature brain because if you don't, then everything's just twisted. And I see it all the time. All the boys that got famous super early. Look at fucking, what's that dude that Michael Jackson fucked? That kid? Nathan. Nathan Brown. Macaulay Culkin. Macaulay Culkin. Oh. Fame got to him and also a dick, but the dick wouldn't have got to him if he wasn't famous. Yeah, true. Home Alone, he wasn't ever really alone. Although Matt did find out last week that he was the one who assaulted michael jackson anyway yeah you never know hey it could be both ways anyway next question is austin Austin rose Rose 27 27. would you rather drink your enemy's pee while they look you in the eyes or eat a bowl of your own shit while all of the girls you've ever dated watch you i'd do the um drinking the piss piss of my enemy nothing because it's like it's almost like it's almost like if you nail the look you could like it's almost like a you get you, you a, don't care yeah it's like an I don't them. care nothing that you do is is can affect me yeah and me I can even drink your piss and and it's nothing to me that's it's like a power move whereas if you're eating shit you know and there's just a group of chicks watching it's sort of like oh this guy's this guy, something's happened yeah I agree he's had an accident and he's got some- oh but like if it's every girl you ever dated like I, and I wouldn't want to eat shit 
that's the thing. If it was piss in front of the girls I've ever dated, I'd probably take that over the enemy. Yeah, it's, it's because definitely- that's why I've dated like they're they're gone. I dated them. Now it's done. They're done. Watch me drink my piss. They're nothing now. It was shit. Nah, nah. They're nothing. Oh, this one's from Luke and stuff. And he said, do Matthew Gregory Brown's Concrete Brothers from work watch his podcast? Matthew, do you want to take this one? Uh, some do. Ooh. Some of his wholesome employees Not all. Some. watch them. <clears throat> now, Matt, it's Matt's good about it. He doesn't force them to watch. Even though he could, he could say, for work today. Shit, yes! For work today, watch and listen to this podcast. He could say that. And have them fired if they didn't do that. He could have pop quizzes on our podcast if you wanted to and fire the least performing What do they person. think of it? But he won't do that. Oh, will he? Ah, they think you're ridiculous. <laughs> Leave funny. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. Next question is from Richard underscore one underscore one. What's the brown ring around your asshole from the poop court? I mean, what is from that called? Can we look that up? From the poop what? You know how there's like that? It looks like this. Yeah, I think I think what it is is like a, 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 a it's just stained skin. <laughs> stained skin from just constant having. Le- if you just had a, a bit of shit on your arm <laughs> all the time, you would after a while it would just look stained. And it's also a different type of skin. It's like you know if if you if you if you crease some arm skin together, it looks like it's a different color. It's got to push and suck. Yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not normal skin. It, it. It's more stretchy. It's tougher. It's stronger. Well, think about it. Why are lips like that? Even though there's not a shit stain on them, maybe because there's yeah, no lips shit. are different coloured. Mm. Fucking assholes. The entries to orifices into the body are always a different colour. Look under the eyelids. Red. See that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See what I mean? So yeah, that's just a scientific point of view. Yeah, we yeah we obviously know that very well. <laughs> but yeah, what's the actual uh, Google's fuckery of it, Matt Gregory Brown? Uh, awesome. Uh, all right, everyone who watches on the on YouTube will only be able to enjoy this. We're going to test our editor now, and we're going to pretend that something's chasing us. So there's just a green screen behind us, and we're going to pretend that something's chasing us. I reckon we should pretend that there's something chasing us. All right, good idea. <laughs> In three, two, one. <laughs> no! Ah! Get away! Ah! 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 Why is it? Ah! Why does it have tits? Ah! I can't. Ah! Scene. Oh, that took energy. That took energy. Scene. We'll see what happens next oh. week. Man, I re- that reminded me of my childhood. Hard. Now, um, just with your your anus, your brown Skin. anus ring. Um, I can't find any name around uh, around it. Yeah, I'm sure there is something that it's called, but um, apparently it's quite normal. And um, most people usually freak out because they tend to have anal sex and then see that it's brown and think that the person doesn't wipe properly. But uh, it's actually just a it's common it's a common thing that they're all brown. Stain. Some people bleach their asshole. Um, the apparently, hair. in the porn industry, it's uh, they do. Ch- like sort of tricks to make it look more skin colored that way it is it sick looks better it is sick but um yeah, i guess it's just nature right sick. that's just you're gonna have to put up with it if you want to fuck a bum <laughs> come on a bum mm. all right now, <laughs> next <laughs> questions from brendan austin would you rather slam your fingers in a car door or put a toothpick under your toenail and kick a wall I'd slam my fingers in. I have done it and it's not that bad. They just bend with the door and then you bring them out and it's not, they're not broken. No, I've, I've had my fingers caught in a car door before and it really hurts, but yeah, I would prefer that. Imagine over. a toothpick on it. Yeah, yeah. You would, oh, I guess it would help with ripping the toenail off. <sighs> Next one, <sighs> Stefan Elliott, Shurik, your name ran out. Why are you guys so stupid? I'm not. Maybe um, like people who don't get it have like the baseline knowledge that we do don't understand and are confused and then therefore they're confused by the intelligent things that we say because Science. no one's ever asked that before i don't get that yeah next question that's rude wow <laughs> to arthur vana how would you guys describe each other in five words oh let's go three words it's easier five words is too many do you want me to go first or me no you go first frog thomas fun um, I would say Michael is a um, festy, sticky cream. 
<laughs> Bestie Sticky is the sickest. Cream's not so bad. All right, test dot gauge. What is your favorite thing about making videos and making stupid decisions? <clears throat> Probably always the end result of posting a video and then seeing people say, "Oh yeah, that was that was pretty funny." I suppose you sort of you sort of put a smile on my fucked up, depressed head. It is nice, yeah, making people laugh. So that's <clears throat> that's the best part. The process we've gotten used to it, but it's not it's not it's not a life. It's not a life. <sighs> it's quite. Quite um, it's not all fucking. It's not all happy, pan- it's happy, not all happy. pancakes and orange juice. Yeah, it's there's not a breakfast. Of, there's a lot of darkness. There's lunch and there's fucking afternoon tea and dinner. There's and a those, lot of those meals aren't that great. It's not even though you get orange juice and pancakes in the morning, the rest aren't that great. Exactly. But I must say, when you dodge death and do a stunt and you get away with it, fuck, it's better than any drug. But when your friend puts your life in danger. For no reason other than a small clip in a long video, it's hard to control the rage. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely high risk, but hey, that's what we do. Hey, everyone. Also, did you guys see the fly video? I'm so annoyed at how it turned out, the, the release of the flies. It was too early in the morning. All the flies were like, I couldn't fucking get them going. They're all like crawling over the rancid meat. There was like- In my room. Like most of the flies stayed in the fucking containers. And so, when the few flies came out, it looked like fucking 20 flies when really it should have been like 600. Yeah. There, there was, was so many. There were a lot of flies on the ground. And they get sleepy. way more active like during the day when the heat, when, when it's hotter. And so, like, fuck, I should have just waited, but then he would have been out and about. But I should have just thrown them in the house <laughs> and then closed the window or something. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, <laughs> if I had had a bender and passed out, if you had fed me like alcohol during yeah, the day, or I could done have it on a weekend. The yeah. I was worried you were going to smell it because it was getting fucked. The smell, and that in the morning there were birds circling every week. And here in the video, like I'm talking like ten crows and all these little butcher birds because they're after the fucking meat, and it was so loud. Like yuck. So, yeah. Poor neighbors. I killed three of them. <laughs> Food. All right, this one's from Left Dift. How long till Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome headquarters in Milton gets on the camera again? Matt? Come over here. Come over here. Come on. Come over uh, here. Come Get on the lap. Come and show everything. <laughs> come and Get show everything of you. Come and expose oh, sit on, it. <laughs> sit on my cock. Sit on my cock. Matt Brown from Wholesome. Mm, all his employees will be I watching. I bought him this hat too and I bought him like eight other hats of the same so he's got spares. They'll all be look. shuddering, all his employees. Oh, look at that. Wholesome. We had to buy secret Santas <laughs> yeah, there at he Christmas is. time so I bought him eight Venice Beach hats. Venice Beach. From, there he is. From, um, Have a Kmart. kiss. Have a kiss, boys. Oh, go back. <laughs> <laughs> That's Matthew. He's still alive. He's still kicking. Don't forget to, uh, if you listen, send him a picture of your dick. Follow him on Instagram. No. At man. At, wait, follow Matt, him on Matt Instagram. Brown. At Mar- above Jeff Matt Brown. Matt Brown. M-A-T-T Brown. And then four ones after that. All no, no full stops or anything. Matt Brown. One, 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 <clears> one. <throat> send him a picture of your dick or any dead animals that you come across. Everything like that straight to his Instagram. Please. Yeah, real sick shit. Like, <laughs> try and traumatize him. He got he got a few messages last week. Like, we asked you guys to do this, but really, let's inundate his Instagram with let's just him with, with death and dick. <laughs> Even if it's just screenshots of fucked up porn shit, I want to. I want him to <laughs> throw up in his mouth. <laughs> oh, dude, that gets me off. All right, this one's from, and you're gonna like this question. Yoga underscore Indra twenty four. Why Stephen Hawking Z with an S? Because that's his fucking name. What a super question. That's his name. Well, no, the way I see it is, okay, by the books, they call him Stephen Hawking. But if you think about it- The books are wrong a bit. You know what I mean? If you think about it, sometimes the books are a bit wrong. So, we've accounted for that. Well, think about it. 1% of error. You like my way of thinking is such a great man cannot be one. He's a plural- he is many. He's, He's many everything. hawks. He's many hawks in one Stephen. So hawk ins. Hawk ins. Like, hawk ins. Think about it. And he's still here because he lives in everything. He is the computers. He is hawks. 
<laughs> he will never die. He's taking over AI. He's, he is AI. He will live forever. He is computer. He is gigabyte. <laughs> <laughs> and hawks. He circles the airs. He's hawk na- yeah. ins. Because there's many. It's, it's, yeah, it's a plural. A great man cannot be one. It has to be a plural. He is everything if you great. do if you do acid or mushrooms or dmt you'll, you'll see. see you'll see that it's stephen hawkins and not hawken that's stupid yeah. name books don't know shit books were written by people and people are dumb he is a computer therefore a plural we are because there's many computers we are also computers we are digital images being projected by two very large computers we're not even it's people. a simulation man it's we a simulation are people. Check out the simulation theory. Anyway, great question. Angus Lamb, do you have a disability? <laughs> <laughs> All right, if I had to, if we had, let's take a stab in the dark at what we would oh, diagnose maybe with each other. Maybe a bit of autism and Asperger's? No, no, if, if I had to diagnose you, if I was a psychologist and, and someone said to me, well, what do you think are some of Michael's problems, <laughs> mental problems? I'd say... I'd say, look, there's there's definitely oh, like some MS. <laughs> no, well, <laughs> that's a physical no, problem. Me- mental yeah, issues. Yeah. I would say, I would say that these he's on the lower spectrum of autism. <laughs> he's got like a, um, a a slight learning disability. <laughs> <laughs> and, and hey, I was school captain in primary school. And some um and wow. some you know some yeah, some. Fact. Some a little bit of a oh, bipolar hell. mania, you know, maybe ten percent of that sprinkled on top, and um, yeah, he's he's uh, he's great. This <laughs> this face is is sort of a uh, representation of what his mental illnesses. <sighs> it's like manic. It's manic and manic bipolar mixed with unpredictable slight autism mixed with. It's just some of the connections don't m- match. Yeah. It should be symmetrical like this. He's all like this. <laughs> they come from one side. Or it's just like, they should be like this. He's all like this. <laughs> Non-existent. You yeah, know, I reckon, I reckon you're all there. You just sort of good at like acting like a psychopath. Because if you look back at school... By the teacher's st- like standpoint, you're like the best fucking kid there is. Yeah, a lot of um, Mrs. Arbor loved us. A lot and of, she loved me too. A lot of uh, you know serial killers and shit did alright at school. Anyway, <coughs> yeah, but yeah, we've got. Well, I have a disability. Marcus May. Question for Marty: What does Monique think of your obsession with cows? Ah, oh, look, it's a. This is a, a I think we spoke show. about this one before. Well, yeah, it's a. It's it's tough. It, it puts a lot of strain on our relationship because you know no, no girl wants to be second best to a beautiful beast. But like at the end of the day, every single person out there has their flaws and their their pros and their cons. You know, every one of our friends is has has something that, you know, their Achilles heel. There's there's something that troubles them. It's just my thing. It's my weakness. <laughs> You have to take it with the rest of me. You know, it's it's my one thing is, you know, every now and then I lose control and black out rage fuck a cow. <laughs> That's my one thing. You know, and other than that, I'm a perfect boyfriend. So, you know, it's we work on it. It's, it's give and take. Yeah. And and like at the end of the day, she's she the, the, the sort of the compromise is as long as I slaughter them after. She's okay with it. Because then you won't be with them again. So, and, it's and, like- and, you know, because she was worried initially that it was like, oh, I've got, you know, feelings for some of these animals. No, it's just, it's just an uncontrollable rage lust. I just want to dig my fucking thumbs and push their eyes into their fucking skull and hear them belt out one last moo as my ejaculate <laughs> coats their colon. <laughs> Oh my god! It's, it's Marty and Michael, and we're making <laughs> memories. <laughs> oh my god, that was one of the that was one of the hundredth best things you've ever said. Yeah. Holy shit! The All truth right. is funny. Moly, four tigs underscore. <laughs> How worried are you about the virus? Uh, it comes in phases. <clears throat> like. Depending on how I'm feeling physically, it comes in phases, but 
overall not very worried i'm pretty sure i've already had it and um but yeah it's just an, it's just it's more annoying than anything else because like yeah you don't want to you don't want to fucking accidentally give it to your mum or someone so it's like yeah and really it's in where we are it's not that bad i get it it's terrible in other places but here it's really not that bad so it'd be stupid for us to be <laughs> sitting around worrying our fucking faces off when really it's basically completely under control here yeah well i guess i'm not worried about the virus i'm just worried about what's going to come after the the freedoms we may lose after the virus so prepare for them people we're going to be microchipped Mm. tracked all right next one is carson the goat 11 will you be willing to be bit bit by by a baby gator for a video yeah that's a great idea well i reckon i could easily do that on the bum would be nothing it'd be cool to have like a a gators that go up in size and then see where the limit is oh like a baby gator just be like like a a medium sized one because they did a death turns that would fuck you up yeah but a little baby one like it'd be like uh just lots of staples being and a a bit of pressure Mm. i don't think it'd be that bad it would, yeah. but if we I'd did be that, so down for that, that would have but to is be, that traumatizing yeah, the gator? I was just going to say we, yeah. that would have to be website content because if we posted that to social media, every second person, yeah, it's animal cruelty. Do yeah. we get any hate for the flies? No. Why the fuck? Aren't, oh, I guess it's it's a fly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bees though, bees aren't much bigger, and we got fucking nah, roasted. Apparently they're the most important thing in the world, and we didn't really kill that many. Plus, we created more so they could buy well, more. A video bee a long time ago. You, yeah. you guys won't even know what we're talking about, but we did a bee video a long time ago where we were trying to support a local bee farm, and yeah, we got stung. Well, you got stung what, like fifty times or something? Yeah, hundred maybe. Okay, so a hundred bees died. Yeah, but we ended up making those bee farmers a lot of money to produce a lot more bees. Because they could we buy more bee farms. Roasted, shit. fucking roasted for it. Yeah. Anyway, moving on. Yeah, we we lost a few fans from Melbourne. I remember. If you're watching, which she probably still is. Yeah, when you engage with the haters, it's just like it's just you can't. They're just so. <laughs> it makes me sick. <sighs> it's like a kid on a playground that's trying a to sell kid. OnlyFans. <laughs> all right you just don't want a bar of it <laughs> all right and that's question time dude should we have a skull yeah go on we did say we'd get we finish all our angry dad piss mm. and now we've got some new shit to promote making memories from Shami, <sighs> my friend check it out <clears throat> we've got our own merch but it's not very good, so... <laughs> yeah, don't buy that. Buy Shami's merch. We're going to redo it. Sorry. Yeah. Um, this shit's better. But I'm if you do want to support us, you can subscribe to our website, okay? We don't, our merch, I wouldn't recommend buying it. Sorry. For those of you who have bought merch that are listening, look, it's... It's, we was out. We it's okay. We, yeah. like, you can wear it around and we really appreciate it, but like, come on. Like, it's it's we need to step up our merch game and we haven't promoted our merch... There's so many so jobs long. to do being us. Like A R S E ass. Yeah. Being ass is hard. What's the next segment? The next segment has been renamed and it's sort of a panicked mumbling from a uh, mother who's being chased by someone oh, yes. dressed in a in a hoodie. Matt I'm sorry for this one. tried to sort of really wanted me to deliver this segment name correctly. And uh, we practiced, what, an hour and a half beforehand? So he, That's he why was, you were here all day. He was, and he had like tears in his eyes early on because I was like, whatever, dude, it's fine. He was upset because I wasn't taking it seriously enough. He really wanted me to deliver this correctly. So this segment name is a representation of a mother of three who's been chased out of her house by a hooded man. And she's obviously concerned that her children, something will happen to them. <clears throat> <laughs> oh my god! Someone help me! I can't! 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 I
open the uh, our PO box gifts. <laughs> So, you know, originally called the PO unboxing. And look, we have a, someone has sent us in a something in our PO box. So this segment isn't just us pretending that you guys have sent us something. So don't forget, if like, if, if I was a business, like we get a oh. few listens on this now. If I was a business, I'd be like, oh, I'm going to send them something. Give us a little note. We'll read it out and we'll have a fucking bit of fun with whatever you send. Just for a plug. But, or you can just send us human shit. <laughs> Or drugs. Or drugs. Which we have been sent before. Oh, there's three separate packages. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I should read his name out. No, maybe he wants that. That's Wayne. What there. Wayne sent this. Wayne, legend. Thank you. Thank you, dude. All right. Marty and Michael, Wayne. please open last and after you've finished filming the episode. I'm going to have to open it. That's too yeah, that's exciting. so... Uh, we yeah, can't that's do that. Too, that's, well, but we will open oh, it last. Oh, wait. So, that's last. Yeah, so um, maybe we that should- That one's for you, should that we- one's for both, and this one's for All me. Right, so should we open the letter first? This yeah. is a very exciting- Oh Gr- my God. Great packaging, Wayne. Great fucking packaging, Wayne. <laughs> it's Christmas, it's Christmas. Oh, he's got great handwriting too. Yeah, very, very pretty. Dear Marty and Michael, I sincerely hope this package finds you well. Just in case you don't remember me, I'm the guy who sent you the Little People Big Dreams, Stephen Hawkins book. I'm mm. very glad you liked it. Wow. I did read it. This was an ad bonus watching that video for me as you released it on my birthday, practically. Whoa, it was like perfect symmetry. I thought I'd give you guys an update on me coming out of the closet to my father. <clears throat> Amazingly, he was okay with it. He even met my boyfriend of two years for the first time recently. Fuck yes. That's so beautiful. Since the last letter, I've watched almost all the fully actual videos and they are such a barrel of laughs. I see that you have recently developed a particular proclivity for the- What's that word mean? Like a particular liking for the pursuit of scientific and historical academia. As such, I believe these books- will be of great interest and enjoyment for you. Open your individually named packages now. This is great. Well, out of respect. No, there's more. No, there's more. There's more. We need Let's to just- Let's make sure we leave this one for after. Yeah, yeah. We, we love this guy. This is- uh, This is- This guy, wow. What? There's more to read. Well, let's Wayne just open these first. How exciting. It's like Christmas. <clears throat> I know. Open. Open. Ah, oh, there's so much anthrax. Toilet trivia on this day. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Holy oh, shit. Oh, man. Matt, you can write a book like this one day, dude. Yeah, sure. Wow, this is fucking awesome. Thank you, Wayne. Fucking great idea. How to. That's a how to book. Absurd scientific advice for common what? For common real world problems. There you go. So, dude, you are helping us like we're helping that is, you. Dude, we can probably going to come up with a lot of video ideas from that. Normally with books, there's the words don't work. So there's heaps of pictures in this one. So I'm going to have a good time. Thank you, Wayne. That's very, uh, very thoughtful of you. All right. Holy Let's fuck. finish the rest of the letter. <clears throat> May these books prove useful and entertaining during these times of social distancing and self-quarantine. I will note at this point that I am safe and healthy. May I make a suggestion to a celebrity you should contact via social media? How about Jim Jeffries? I'm going to end this letter shortly, but just remember, guys, the haters are going to hate, but the best are always going to be the best. Dude, Wayne's the best Wait, dude there's ever. more. Please extend my warmest regards to your partners, the crew, and also to Matt. Now that he has a speaking role in Fully Actual. Congratulations, Matt. Have a good one, guy. Be Thanks, safe, Wayne. stay healthy, and smile always. Yours sincerely, Wayne. P.S. As you may have noticed, this is one more final package to be opened. I would politely request you do not film the opening nor tell the audience of its content. It's nothing illegal. I'm just a modest person. I hope you like it. Fuck yeah, me, dude, I'll respect that. Thank you, Wayne. Okay, so um, Wayne, I know you asked us to open it after the podcast or cut it out. So we're going to cut it out. But we just want to say thank you dude. for those gifts. Unbelievable. You're a fucking legend, dude. My God, thank you so much. Really appreciate that. That's amazing, dude. You, you totally know us so well. You did him well, you did me right, and then the in between one was the perfect fucking thing. Oh, God, Wayne. I'm going to skull for <sighs> you. 
Very lovely, Wayne. You're a lovely young man. Our next segment has been renamed in a uh, Russian-themed uh, name. <laughs> and this is a segment where we uh, set up a stunt. Oh, It's stunt time for Michael. So uh, for today's well, stunt... No, oh, yeah, I guess I'll take it this week. I'll take well, it this all right. Well, let's do paper, scissors, rock. I'm going to do uh, rock, so maybe you do scissors. Okay. Scissors, paper, rock. Yes. Fuck. Fuck. You're good at that, man. I can't believe you I got that again. set the traps up. So, so how does it work? So the stunt this week is I'm going to blindfold Michael and I'm going to set up these four mouse traps on the table in front of us. And I'm going to sit a ping pong ball in and around these mousetraps. And his job is to pick out the ping pong ball amongst the mousetraps. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh. So, if you're listening on Spotify, Dude, don't worry. I will be, I'll be uh, commentating this the whole way. <clears throat> but if you're watching on YouTube... Do you want me to help set them up? Yeah, myself? why not, eh? Why not? Have we got a blindfold for this cunt? So I've blindfolded Michael. Now I'm going to rearrange the mouse traps and place the ping pong ball in and around them. And I'm scared. It's scary when you don't know what's coming. Okay, you've got 10 seconds to find it. And begin. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, <laughs> five, <laughs> 4, 4, <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one. Oh, there it is. Oh. Bullshit, you had it. Yeah, I had it in my hand the whole time. I knew, it. I knew you'd do that. Oh, my God. Now, <laughs> 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 stunt time with Marty and Michael. <laughs> Marty and Michael, we're making <laughs> memories. <laughs> oh, yuck. All right. Pain <sighs> Brings us to our final segment. Mm. Oh man! The prank. Call. So much worse if you don't know what's coming. Uh, also, uh, the prank calls are going to be uploaded separately now to our uh, YouTube channel, so you can just go and watch just the prank calls if you're here for that. What, our actual YouTube channel? Yeah, fully actual YouTube channel. Oh, okay. The one they're watching it on. Every now and then, if it's a really, really good prank call, fuck it, we may as well upload it to Marty and Michael. But. So it's like if you don't want to watch the whole vid, yeah, and you've, you you've already seen it, obviously, and you just want to go through our prank calls. So that's what we're going to start doing as of this week, I think, or next week. So this person is um, has lost their job because of coronavirus, and they're not sure if they're eligible for the uh, the government benefit. So I'm going to pretend to be from uh, Centrelink and say that they are not eligible for the gov for the. And I just got the away with a cheeky piss in the bottle. Fuck. Shit! <laughs> Michael fell down. Michael fell down. <sighs> Shit, right. I fucked the green screen up. All right, here we go. I'm calling Ooh, Adrian and I'm um, I'm Sam from Centrelink. <laughs> hello? Um, hello, am I speaking with Adrian? Yes, you are. Hey, mate, I'm Sam. I'm uh, from Centrelink, and um, we're just doing the rounds and just calling a few people who have applied for the uh, the, the government benefit. Um, mm -hmm. ha have you got a second at all? Yeah, sure. Great. So, um, yeah, well, we're just calling to uh, to give you a bit of an update, and um, mm -hmm. it, it looks like uh, that because you were uh, working in... Uh, in the gaming industry, that that, uh, that you are not actually eligible for any benefits, and um, and, and uh, only a rule that's been passed very recently, and and you're you're part of a very unfortunate few. You actually have to uh, pay for your uh, application submission, so it, it's a cost of uh, three hundred dollars of just some admin fees that Centrelink has to sort of, you know, process your application, all that sort of stuff. So. Um, unfortunately, you're not eligible due to the industry you're working in and you will ha um, on, be spare. receiving a uh, $300 a bill for that, which I know is probably not something that you wanted to hear. Okay. So, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll be sending that through soon and you'll sort of have um, five business days to pay that and then that sort of jumps up to... Um, it. it, it doubles and a half so it'll be up to $750 there if you don't pay that within five business days 
So I'm sorry, just, just to clarify with you. So I have to pay a $300, but that, does that, sorry, what, what does that, what am I paying three hundred dollars for? Do you understand what I'm sort of getting? At? Yeah, yeah, sure. So, so that just covers the yeah. covers the admin fees, the processing fees. So, w- when everyone submits an application, they, you know, someone on our end has to go through and and do cross the I's and, and dot the T's, if you will. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah and, I understand that. Yeah, so it's just. And that's, I'm, I'm just. You, no, you're you're. Right. I'm not. I'm just trying to wrap my head around what you're telling me right now. That's what I'm trying to do. So yeah. I have to pay a three hundred dollar admin fee. Yeah. But at, so does that mean I still get the, the, the benefit that I've applied for or mm-hmm. I'm not getting that? Is that what you're saying? Well, because of the industry that you're in and you, you were working uh, in, a, in, a, in a, a gaming room, is that correct? Yeah, correct. Yeah, so, so because it's gambling, uh, pe- anyone in the gaming industry is not eligible uh, for, for any sort of benefits at all. And it's sort of... Um, it, to, to be honest, it's a bit frowned upon. Uh, the, the gaming industry is, uh, yeah, it's it's uh, it's quite difficult to receive any benefits at all, just because the gaming community sort of like ruins lives. So it's it's yeah, it's, uh, well, I'm, I'm, that's debatable, but yeah, okay. Yeah, so it's sort of um, I know I, I know it, was, it would be hard to hear right now, but yeah, it's I, I like I, I've just been calling people all day and just letting them know, like yeah. You're sorry, you're not. Well, I, I debate the gaming ruins lives, but you know, anyway, I, I don't want to get well, to an argument. Well, no, well, people do. It. People do get addicted to gambling and so, so yeah, on. Yeah, people so. get addicted to to alcohol, mate. Like, it, yeah. like Anyway, I don't want to. Yeah, sorry. I'm just so. Hang on, you're telling me that I have to pay a three hundred dollar admin fee, and I'm not eligible for a benefit. Is that what you're telling me? So I'm paying three hundred dollars to not receive a benefit. Is that what you're telling me? Well, the three hundred dollars is for the application submission that that you sent through, and um, yeah, unfortunately, your application was denied. So yeah, you won't be receiving any benefits whatsoever. So I've applied for a benefit that I'm not eligible to receive, and I have to pay a three hundred dollar fee to apply for it, and pay within five business days. Otherwise, and pay within five. Days. So I have to pay three hundred dollars within five business days to receive no benefit at all. Is well, what you're telling me? Yeah. Well, well, it's not to receive no benefit, but it's separate to the the benefit itself. So you're if you're having to pay three hundred dollars because you're because of the application that you submitted, you're um, and it says that it says that on the very uh, fine print at the bottom of the the website of, on MyGov. There it says actually there you you are susceptible to um, admin fees. In your adding to the problem, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, you know, the the processing fee itself. If you were eligible, yeah, it'd be, it would be okay. But um, you know, like I said, the, the gaming industry it's, it's a bit of a it's a bit of a grey area, and um, well, it's a bit so, of a dark area. Yeah, no, I mean, yeah, I understand you, you're doing your job. I'm not I'm not arguing with. I'm just I'm sorry. Who am I speaking to? To Sam. My Sam, and, yeah. and who are you calling from? Like, who am I actually talking to right now? I'm very sorry. I'm just, I'm trying to wrap my head around what's going on right now. Totally. And you're from, from where? Totally understand. I'm calling on behalf of Centrelink. So, I'll work at one of the So, Centrelink. you're from Centrelink? Yes, exactly. Okay. And so, you're saying my application has been denied. Yeah. And I have to pay a $300 admin fee within five days of, of receiving the bill. That is correct, and you should receive the bill uh, shortly after our conversation is terminated. And, and how will I be receiving that bill? Just via like email. email, or no, that'll be via email. So yeah, via be... email. Yes, correct. And that's purely because I'm in it, working in a gaming industry. Well, your your, so appli- your application was denied what you because of your job. You, you know, look, look at you know, it's sort of. It makes sense Obviously. because you're sort of contributing to more financial loss for a lot of people. So, it, you know, the the government sort of comes down hard on anyone who works in the gaming industry exclusively. So, yeah, the application was denied because of that. And then also just the processing fee of your application took a little while. So, that, that's where the $300 admin fee comes in. Um, okay, I'm very confused. Um, okay. Yeah, and like obviously, I know I know that's a you know not a phone. Call. It's not it's not an easy phone call for either of us. But at the end of the day, you're working in an industry that is a quite poisonous and takes money from innocent people. So we. we- <laughs> Are you kidding me? You're actually 
saying this to me right now? Well, it's. It, are, you, are you serious? It's it's sort of what we've been what we've been instructed to say. Look, I've I've had I've had this. That I work in a poisonous industry that's taking money from innocent people. Okay, well, that's more of a personal opinion, and I've got friends that's who are addicted what to. You've just you said that. That's literally what you just told me. Look, look, I've 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 got friends and family who have gambling problems. Okay, and and. All right, and I- Personally responsible for that, am I? Well, look, yes. you you work in an industry that that does this sort of thing to people. You know what I mean? So it's it's uh, yeah. I'm sorry, you are responsible. <laughs> it's hearsay. I'm responsible for that. No, any everyone who contributes to the industry is is contributing to the problem, as far as I'm concerned. Wow, that's this is a pretty unprofessional phone call I'm having right now. With all due respect, Sam, um, I'm going to hang up now. Um, wait, before you leave, there's one last thing I need to tell you. Mm-hmm. It's a prank call. Okay. Your friend says <laughs> Your friend has set you up. You're actually on the Marty and Michael podcast. <laughs> and um, you have not, your application has not been denied. And I'm definitely not from fucking Centrelink. <laughs> we love you, dude. We're so, We're so sorry. Who was the friend that set it up? Yeah, let's, let's see who set you up. Gemma. Gemma said that um, the that basically gave us this information and um, and she said that you would be a good sport about it. So fuck Gemma, dude. Um, you're all good, dude. Okay. Sorry to fuck. Like it's all no, good. No, 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 no. It's uh, you're you're all right. We were just being silly billies, Gemma. I was- understand what's going on here. She's yeah, okay. <laughs> sorry, dude. <laughs> oh, dude, sorry to stress you out. We're just trying. Yeah, to- you haven't stressed me out. I was just about you were to very- a lot of very angry phone calls. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard you typing. You were typing away at the conversation I was, I was recording. recording stuff, mate. I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, <laughs> props to you because it was fucking utter no, bullshit. Like unprofessional Centrelink. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I'm calming down now. It's okay. Yeah, mate, yeah, you, I'm, I'm certain you'll get your receipt. And, mate, good on you for fucking... For- yeah. yeah. <laughs> we were just trying to stir you <laughs> up that you didn't fucking bite at all. <laughs> oh, you did oh. good. You you handled that well. You handled that... Not you, really. No, mate, mate, you I fucking... I was trying to be so nice. Dude, you, you were. You were so nice. You weren't aggressive I whatsoever. I don't really know who I'm talking to. I won't go off the deep end here. <laughs> but, oh. Dude, you were so chill. Like, I would have started swearing and abusing him. Oh. Sam could get fucked. I hated myself. Yeah, yeah. Like, I felt a bit guilty because okay. you were so okay. kind. I actually, the thing that really surprised me is when before you hang up, and I actually waited. I don't, why didn't I just hang up on you? This is what I didn't get. Oh, that would have been the worst because then I would have felt oh, so bad. Right. Yeah. That's all we had to tell it's you, okay. dude. Yeah. Um, you were so good, dude. Okay. You were so good. <laughs> <laughs> you were so chill about it, really. There's, I would have gone. It sounds, off. it sounds like you're going to get your benefit, and um, we hope that everything's. A- <laughs> and I love a slap in the pokey, so and, it's and yeah, we fucking love gambling. So fuck anyone who's against uh, it. I don't know. It was just very confusing. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> we just wing. Well, Marty just wings it. So like, oh, yeah. like I'm getting abused by Centrelink dude for doing the job. Oh, I hate it so much. <laughs> I hate it too, dude. But thank you for uh, for pulling okay, out with uh, that. Is your name actually Sam? Just no, no, it's it. Ma- it's Marty and Michael. It's the Marty and Michael right, fu- fully actual podcast. Well, nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah, you, you too, mate. You fucking hang in there, and you bloody. Oh, we we hope you stay healthy and safe throughout this yeah, terrible you too, period. Yes, you too. Yeah, no worries, mate. Lovely to meet you. Good, good, good luck with everything. Hey, no, thank you. Good luck to you guys. Stay safe. No, um, no worries. Awesome. No, Thanks, no. mate. See you later. All right, have a good one. Bye. Bye. All right, so that is the end of episode number 11. Next week, we'll be smoking shards of meth. Mm. So stay tuned for that. And don't forget that we... Well, well, simply, we are the best. best. We're the best. best. We're the 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 best.